Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to go over all of the titles that I watched during the month of May, so stick around. So today I wanted to take time to go over all of the titles that I watched during the month of May. I was able to um, watch at least one movie every single day and I also was able to see several movies in the theater. So I'm just going to use my Letterboxd account and we can go over all of the titles that I watched and I can kind of give you my score and what I thought about each of them. So first up, I rewatched The Father. It had been a while since I had seen this one. I really enjoyed this film. I think that it's very well acted. Great story. I love the way that they show it um, in the perspective of the father, um, Anthony Hopkins. I gave that one five stars and a heart. Definitely one of my favorite films, so I really enjoyed that one. Okay, the next film that I watched was in the theater. I went and saw The Fall Guy. Um, I enjoyed it for what it was. I, I don't know exactly what it was I was expecting from it. But I did give it two and a half stars out of five and a heart. I did enjoy it. I thought it was a fun movie. Um, but it wasn't the best, but it was still very enjoyable. Okay, the next film that I watched was Inside Lewin Davis. This is another favorite of mine. I really enjoyed this film. This one I gave four stars and a heart. I really enjoyed the performance um, and the story and the way it was directed overall it's a very enjoyable uh, enjoyable film i would highly recommend you check this out if you've never seen it okay next up i watched nebraska this is another great film that i enjoy watching this one i give four stars and a heart i really enjoy um, all of the performances in this one it is another story about a father and his family and um, I, I just thought it was very well done. I enjoyed this one. Highly recommend you check it out. Next up, I watched The Last Duel. This one gets four stars and a heart. This is another one. This is a long story, but it does go through the um, telling of the same story in three different perspectives. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I think it's very well acted. A great story, and I just enjoyed it overall. I would, another one that I would highly recommend. Okay, next up, I rewatched Empire of the Sun. Um, this one I give four stars and a heart. This right here stars Christian Bale as a young boy and um, his struggle to go through the war that's going on and the way his character changes from the beginning to the end. Very good story, very well acted, great performance, and I highly recommend you check this one out. Okay, next up, I watched Tootsie. Um, I've seen this film many times, but I did recently re-watch re this one. This one gets four stars and a heart. I do enjoy the performance and the story. Um, it's got a lot of humor in it and a lot of heart. Um, definitely, check that one, definitely check that one out if you've never seen it. Okay, next up, I watched The Homesman. This right here gets three stars and three and a half stars and a heart. Um, I enjoyed the story. Um, I think Hilary Swank did a great job. Tom and Lee Jones' character was interesting. Um, it's kind of haunting. It's a haunting-like Western. A lot of crazy things go on at the beginning of this film. The story is a great story, something different. Um, definitely check this one out if you've never seen it. Okay, next up, I watched Minari. Um, this right here is my second time watching this film. I give this one um, three and a half stars and a heart. Um, I enjoyed this story of this family. This is um, loosely based off of a, um, the true story of the um, writer and director of the film. Very great performances, a great story. I um, highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up I went and saw Tarot in the theater. Did not enjoy it at all. It gets one half star, no heart. Um, the story was okay enough as far as I don't know, it just wasn't great, and I didn't enjoy it. Um, don't even know what else to say about it, but it's I was not a fan. Okay, next up, I watched The Town. This is the second time I had seen this film, and really enjoyed the story, the directing, the actors. Um, this one gets four stars and a heart. Overall, a great film. Um, I, um, I, if you haven't seen it, definitely check this one out. Okay, next up, I watched for the first time The Descendants. 
This one right here, I give three stars and a heart. I did enjoy it. I'm not the big, biggest George Clooney fan. But overall, I think the story was good. Um, it's got a lot of family in it. And overall, a very enjoyable, a very enjoyable film. <clears throat> okay, next up, I watched in the theater, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I gave this one two stars and a heart. I did enjoy the film overall, but it, I don't know, it just didn't meet my expectations. Um, I really enjoyed all the previous Planet of the Ape films, and this one right here was just a little bit of a letdown. I think after a second watch, I might enjoy it a little bit more. It was a long movie. I was tired at the end of the day, um, but overall, I did enjoy the film. Okay, next up was the first time watched. I watched The Hunt. This one gets three and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoy this film. It is a foreign language film, so I had to read subtitles throughout. Um, but the story was great. The acting was great. Um, the ending was a little bit weird. So don't really know what to think about that. But one that I would highly recommend you check out. Okay, the next film that I watched was a first time watch. I watched Air. Um, this one gets two and a half stars and a heart. Um, overall, I thought it was really good. I think I had higher expectations for it. But overall, just an enjoyable film. I think it was very well done. Enjoyed the story. Okay, next up, I watched My All-American, which I gave three stars and a heart. Really enjoyed this film based off of a true story. Um, it's not probably everybody's favorite. I don't know that many people saw this film. But overall, I really thought it was a great um, sports film, um, motivational, inspirational. So I would highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, next up, I watched The Beguiled from 1971. This one gets two and a half stars and a heart. Um, I saw the remake with Nicole Kidman in it um, not long ago. I really enjoyed it. So this right here was a little bit lesser to me. Um, I do enjoy Clint Eastwood, but I think I enjoy the performances on the, the remake better, um, but still a good one to see. I think if you're going to see The Beguiled, definitely check out the Clint Eastwood version first and then watch the reboot, the remake, because um, you might actually enjoy the original better. Okay, next up, uh, in the theater I saw The Strangers Chapter 1. I gave it two and a half stars. I didn't give it a heart. I didn't like it overall. Um, I think it was an an, uh, an unnecessary film. I don't know what they're going to do with the next two that they're supposed to be doing. I definitely enjoyed the original, um, The Strangers film. I saw it in the theater back when it came out. And The Strangers Pray at Night, I enjoyed that one. But this one, I don't know. I just didn't care much for it. It could be because of the two lead performances. I, I, I don't know. I just wasn't into it. Okay, next up, I watched True Story. I gave this one two stars, no heart. It wasn't the best film. Um, it was kind of dull and long. Didn't really care much for it. Okay, next up, I watched Deepwater Horizon. This was the first time watch. I gave this three, three and a half stars and a heart. Really enjoyed this one. I really think that the first half was kind of slow, but the second half was excellent. A really good disaster film. Um, great great job with all the special effects and the fire um i highly recommend you check that out if you've never seen it okay next up i watched murder by death this is the second time i had seen this one the first time i saw it i was a kid i saw it in the theater when it first came out i remember liking it um but this time around when i watched it as a grown-up it um i don't know it just didn't hit i gave this one two stars no heart i was a little bit let down um, the next one I want to watch would be Clue. I think it's very similar to this. Um, and see how well I like Clue because I've only seen Clue once. Okay, next up I watched Barfly. This one I gave two and a half stars and a heart. I really enjoyed this one overall. Great performances. Um, I really thought Faye Dunaway was the standout in this film. I really enjoyed her performance. Um, Mickey Rourke's performance was a little bit over the top. But overall, a very interesting film. Um, definitely check that one out if you've never seen it. 
Okay, next up I went and saw Furiosa, a Mad Max saga in the theater. I loved it. I gave it four stars and a heart. I think it was very well done. Kept me um, glued to the screen the whole time. I wanted to see what was going to happen. Um, it's a very great, it's a great follow-up to Mad Max Fury Road. If you have not seen this one on the big screen, I would highly suggest you check it out. Okay, next up I watched Bob Marley One Love. I give this one star, no heart. I did not care for this overall. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. I think I was expecting more of a biopic pick, which it kind of was. Um, but... I don't know, I just couldn't get into it. I didn't really enjoy that one. Okay, the next one I watched was in the theater. I watched In a Violent Nature, which I gave two and a half stars, no heart. Overall, In a Violent Nature was very slow paced for me, but when there were kills involved, I think the kills were excellent. Special effects were excellent. I really enjoyed that part of it. But overall, I don't think that it's gonna be one that I'm gonna want to watch too often. Okay, the last film that I watched during the month was Cursed. Um, this one I gave three stars and a heart. Never seen this one before. Really enjoyed it. I did not even realize all the stars that were involved in this one. Um, it is a Wes Craven film. And also Kevin Williamson is the writer of the film, which I did not know. Um, but I really enjoyed this werewolf tale. I thought it was very well done. And I um, highly recommend you check this one out. Now, there were other titles that I watched during the month that I did not mention. So if, you're follow if you followed along with me on my Letterboxd account, you'll see that there were days that were skipped. I did watch films on those days, but I will be doing a live stream later on talking about those films on someone else's channel. So I, um, I wasn't going to mention those or grade those yet. Um, but overall, I did see uh, at least one film every day. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the films that I watched in the month of May. And also let me know some of your films that you like to watch and some of your recommendations that you would recommend that I check out because I really do appreciate your recommendations. But thanks for taking the time to watch this video and we will see you next time.